Hi, I'm Andrew. And right now, I'm standing inside of one of Haas's 24 robot cells. These two ST40s and this robot make this ST30 spindle shaft. And not long from now, this spindle shaft is going to be inside of one of our popular ST series turning centers. Today on Haas, we're going to check out how this cell makes ST30 spindle shafts. This slug of a Neil 4140 weighs 170 pounds right now. Before this robot showed up, the operator needed the crane each time he loaded this shaft. But with its 280 pound capacity, this Motoman UP 130 does it with ease. The tailstock comes in to support the shaft while we cut a surface for the steady rest to roll on. Now, as you might expect, we normally use coolant on every tool used on this part, but we thought we'd show the first roughing operation dry. We do some pretty stout cuts, as you can see. Here we're cutting at a feed of 22 thousandths per rev at a surface footage of 550. Here we see the intermediate roughing pass. Look closely and you'll see the insert glowing red hot. Modern inserts have extraordinary capabilities. At this point, we've removed more than 100 pounds of material from this shaft. Now we finish the ID bore to half depth with this 12 inch long damped boring bar. Two passes at an eighth inch deep and then the ID is done. Lastly, a spot of end work and we're ready to move the shaft to our second machine. The robot clamps the shaft. The chuck and steady rest unclamp, and the robot is even nice enough to dump the chips before leaving. A quick regrip to the number two position, and it's loading time again. Clearances are pretty close, but that's what CNC machines and robots are all about. Now we turn the OD and front face of the shaft. Next we drill 12 holes equally spaced around the spindle front face. These are the holes where the customer's chuck or adapter plate will get bolted to the spindle. And lastly, we finish up by tapping those same 12 holes we drilled earlier. So, we've come to the end of it. And at this point, we removed about 120 pounds of steel from that original slug. And it took these two lays and the robot about 29 minutes from start to finish. So is this spindle shaft done yet? If only things were that easy. From here, this shaft is gonna be heat treated to Rockwell 50C. Then it comes here to get hard turned, to bring it close to final grind size. Yep, this SL40 is still running strong day in and day out, making parts that are gonna go into our new Haas lathes. The next stop is our precision grind area. And yep, inside here we've got another robot. This robot is keeping this grinder busy and keeping efficiencies high. Then when we're all done here, our next stop is the spindle assembly area. The next stop for our spindle shaft is here in the spindle assembly room. This is pretty much where all the magic happens. Hey, Leo. Now Joe right here is about to drop this hot bearing onto the spindle shaft. Once this spindle cartridge is complete, it'll be dropped into one of these spindle heads here. Then it'll be moved to the lathe assembly line and installed on a machine. This ST30 is just about ready to ship. Going to another lucky customer, and this time, they are in Mexico. And here's that same spindle shaft that we started with not too long ago. So we've watched as this shaft made its way from our robot cell 
to the hard turn area, then the grind cell, and finally it ended up in the spindle assembly area where we turned it into a complete assembly. So we watched that spindle shaft go through quite a transformation. This gives you a glimpse into the countless hours of engineering and process development that go into making just one of the literally thousands of parts that we make. Parts that make Haas machines better. In this show, we'll take you behind the scenes so you can see just how serious we are about making great machine tools. See you next time on Factory Facts, and thanks for watching.